What's up guys and thanks for joining me today. Today I'm reviewing The Fly, the 1986 David Cronenberg movie starring Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. This is one of my all-time favorite scary movies of all time. I just thought it was perfect since we're in the month of October and Halloween is just around the corner. And to help me narrate the plot details of this movie is none other than Gollum himself from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. Let's see how this goes. Take it away, Gollum. When scientist Seth Brando completes his teleportation device, he decides to test his ability on himself. <laughs> Unbeknownst to him, a housefly looks into them in the process. Leading to a merger of man and insect. Gollum! Gollum! Initially, Brundle appears to have undergone a successful teleportation, but his cells begin to take over his body. As he becomes increasingly fly like, Brundle's girlfriend is horrified as the person she once loved deteriorates into a monster. Nobody likes you, stupid fat hermit! Well, that was creepy. Uh, good job, Gollum. Uh, I'm not sure anyone understood what the hell you said, but uh, you got through it. So, thanks. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this movie. Um, uh, when I saw this as a kid, uh, it blew my mind. Um, I was terrified of this movie. I really was. And it, it's not a... Your typical scary movie that's like a slasher or a, you know anything that has to do with the paranormal it's it's really a, a sci-fi horror movie but it is done so well it, it is really one of my favorite movies of all time forget forget it being a scary movie um, I mean this movie is so great um, everything about it the production the directing the acting it's all top-notch um, I've seen this movie Dozens of times, and I'm always awed by everything about it. It just, there's a sense of realism in the movie that just gets to me. I don't know what it is. I can't really explain it, but it's its just a great movie. It, it gets under my skin, and uh, its it's an experience. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Let's talk about the cat. All right, so Jeff Goldblum plays the lead in the movie. Uh, he plays Seth Brundle. He's a scientist that uh, invents teleportation pods that for some reason cannot teleport anything that's living. He thinks he's fixed the problem, but then something goes wrong, and you can only imagine what happens. Uh, Jeff Goldblum does an amazing job. Um, to me, this was the role of a lifetime for him. He, I, For some reason, I every time he acts in a movie, I cannot shake... Uh, the feeling of him being the fly. Uh, that's how good he was. Uh, to me, he deserved an Oscar for his performance. He was that good. He really was. He was amazing. And um, I can't imagine anyone else playing uh, this part and the movie being as good. So, yeah, uh, he was amazing in the role. Gina Davis plays Veronica in the movie. And she's great. Um, she plays a journalist who basically agrees to work with Seth Brundle, record his work, and once he has perfected his invention, she could have the story and everyone's happy. Um, she does a, She actually plays a really good role in the movie. Um, their relationship, their love story, uh, is very heartbreaking. Um, and, you know, I'm not the type of guy to get all emotional, really. Uh, I mean, but... Yeah, you know, I have to say, uh, their love story brought a little tear to my eye. Um, you know, in the end, you know, what happens, happens. And all you could think about were the good times they had together. Um, you know, they, they had real good chemistry. They really did. I, I'm not sure whether it's because they were actually together in real life. I think they were married uh, while they were shooting this movie, or at least got together. And it, it shows, because they really do feel like a real couple. And uh, that only elevated the movie and helped the story. So, it, yeah, 
she did really good in the role, and um, she was one of the best parts in the movie, for sure. Uh, John Getz uh, plays uh, Stathis in the movie. He is Veronica's boss and ex-boyfriend, which uh, makes things awkward. Uh, his uh, part was very interesting because he kind of comes off as a douche at first, um, and he's not very likable. But uh, eventually he does step up and uh, you could tell he really does care for Veronica and just, you know, wants to do what's right for her. Um, so uh, his character does a, a turnaround and, you know, it's interesting because it's unexpected, you, you know. And uh, yeah, he, he played a very good role in the movie. So there you go. One of the best parts about this movie were the set pieces. A good chunk of the movie took place in Seth's apartment or studio, and it was just very eerie. Um, the set design, especially on the pods, was very creepy. I don't know if it was just me, but it it, it was very unsettling. As a kid, The just the look of the pods in the movie, it, it just it gave me the creeps. It, you know, it, something about it looked alien-like, and... You know, it, it just it added to the movie in, in such a way that it it was just great. It really was. It really was. All right. Uh, the scariest thing about this movie were the special effects, makeup, animatronics that was used to uh, turn Jeff Goldblum into this horrific fly monster. And this was before CGI, you know, was around. And it worked. It was amazing. Um, added with Jeff Goldblum's performance... His transformation, you know, as the movie goes on, to turn into this monster, it was was scary. For me, as a kid, it it left an impression, for sure. And I never forgot it. I still see it, and I, I, still, I still get creeped out by it. You know, it holds up very well. And I hear they are making a remake of this movie, of this version, this 1986 version, and... I really don't think it's a good idea. First of all, I don't think there's an actor right now that can top Jeff Goldblum's performance. And if you mix CGI into this, I just don't think that... I just don't think it's going to match the realism that the 1986 fly had. I could be wrong. I mean, we have, you know, CJ has come a long way, but I just don't think it's going to work. My personal opinion. I guess we'll see. So that's about it, kids. Um, that's my review. Definitely check this movie out if you have not. If you love sci-fi and horror, you're going to love this movie. It's as simple as that. Special thanks to Gollum for that creepy-ass plot uh, summary. And uh, if you guys like my review, please like, share, and subscribe.